was, you know, in and out of the, of the team, we, we still had a good... I haven't been after the guys for it either, but uh, we'll improve it. Always said hi to me, always been extremely friendly. He's the face of soccer, not just for the team, but for Oklahoma City. Jimmy Nielsen has done it all as a goalkeeper, an MLS title, MVP. But now the White Puma is coming off a 2015 campaign where he led Oklahoma City to the Western Conference Finals. Not just in his second season with the energy or a second season as a head coach. His second season as a coach ever, period. I had the chance to sit down with Jimmy and take stock in what the past, present, and future holds for the coach and for the energy FC. Last year, playoffs for the first time for the franchise. What did the team learn? What did you learn from the Colorado Springs game, from the L.A. game as well, that you take into this year? You know, you've got to make the right decisions. And uh, when the pressure is on, you know, it's, it's tougher to make those right decisions. And I think that we'll benefit from, from those games during the season and hopefully when we get into the playoff next season. Uh, it's different. Players, is, it, it, it's different. You know, going into to the playoff game against Colorado, we only had two or three guys who ever played any kind of playoffs before. And it is different. You know, just when you hear the, 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 the word playoffs, automatically a different pressure on you. Uh, I experienced that myself in, in Kansas City. You know, when I walked to, to my first playoff game, my legs were heavy. And I never had any problem with heavy legs before as a goalkeeper. <laughs> but it's just different, you know. It's... You win, you're through, you, you lose, the season is over. And that's tough uh, mentally going into that game with the back of your head that the season could be done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you've got to learn from it. This is the American structure. And I'm actually starting liking the playoffs. And, uh, you know, we're going to prepare ourselves during the season. Uh, obviously, the goal is to, to make the playoffs. And when we get into the playoffs, we know anything can happen in the playoffs. I think the fans like the playoffs too. Obviously, the crowds toward the end of the season were huge. And that's something, obviously, that you've worked on as a coach and being out in the community to get that involvement. And it looks like teeth are sinking into the, to the burger right now. I think our, our organization <clears throat> has done a tremendous teamwork uh, with the community and, and with our supporter, building that fan base up during the year. Uh, I could tell a gigantic difference from the first year to, to the second year, especially when you come around in, in, the, in the city, how many people really know about Energy FC. You know, I'm wearing this shirt here a lot or other gear a lot, and everyone is asking about Energy FC. So we definitely got our name out there in, in the city and a lot of positive buzzing going around about our team and a lot of team followers last year, and uh, hopefully more will come. Uh, you know, we want to improve as a team. You know, we want to build on the fan base as well. You know, hopefully every game, every Saturday game or Tuesday game, whenever, could be like those games we had in, in the playoffs. That's definitely my goal. You have some returners. The, some big names back. Of course, MT, the captain. A lot of people didn't know one way or the other if uh, you were going to see your leading goal score a return, but he comes back, and that's got to be a big get. But you have some new faces as well. What are the question marks for the team, and what things do you feel the most confident about going into this year? Well, I'm comfortable about the roster. Uh, why I'm comfortable? Because it's a competitive roster, and nothing is given. The starting lineup is not given. And I think that's a positive challenge for, for a coach to have a lot of options. Um, what I could see us do down the road, maybe change the team a little bit more, because of better matchups. Uh, we can change the team because of bad form or good form by, by players. Uh, and that's a, that's, a, that's a good challenge and a good problem to have as a coach, have a lot of good players. And we'll have a lot of good players on, on the bench. Uh, we'll even have a few good players in, in the standings. You know, there's a rule, you can have 11 guys on the field, seven on the bench, and currently we're 20, 22 in the roster. So unfortunately, a few guys will, will be in the stands, but we have, a, we have a solid roster, and I'm pleased with it. As a goalie, you kind of serve as a coach on the field, but you do a rare thing, go straight from playing to becoming a head coach. 
what have you learned now this is your third season as a coach? What was harder than you expected? What was easier than you expected? Well, I think, well, maybe other people can answer that question better. Uh, but I think I learned as a coach to control my anger a little bit better. Uh, I know I can't battle every battle and challenge every call from, from the referee. And uh, I think I'm improving on that area and that give me, you know, better thoughts about what going on about my team. And I'm trying to control what I can control instead of being mad at the referee for, for a bad call or, or something like that. You know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm more, um, more peace with myself on, on the sideline now and have the energy to, to focus 100% on our team and see the opponent as well, of course, to, to see where their weaknesses are. Uh, that's why I'm trying to, to put my energy in. When you go into a restaurant in Oklahoma City, when you're about town, when you're with your family, is it starting to feel like home? It is home. It is home for me. You know, I... Uh, I know in Kansas City, obviously, you made such a name for yourself. You made yeah. such a reputation for yourself as a player, and I know you still have deep roots there, but Oklahoma City, has, I think, has taken to you, and it seems like you and your family have taken to the city as well. Absolutely, you know, we, we're having a good time, and my family having a, a very, very good time, which is very, very important for me, since I'm basically never home. So it's important for, for me that my, my family is at a good place, and all three of them, they, they are having a very, very good time in, in Oklahoma and we like it that much, but we even bought a house. Oklahoma is a great place for, for my family. You know, a lot of friendly people. It's a good city, it's an easy city. And uh, the best part of Oklahoma, they got Energy FC. Best part for the Energy FC, having a coach that gets it. Now let's hope Jimmy can add a USL championship to his already crowded trophy case. I'm Brent Skarkey for Energy FC TV.